For a session presented by Allianz Partners, please welcome Chief Marketing Officer for Travel Line of Business at Allianz Partners, Joe Mason, in discussion with Skip X Creative Content Strategist, Kate Anderson. Hello, Joe, and welcome uh, here to Megatrends in New York. And as I understand, you also recently moved back from Paris, so welcome back to the US. Thank you, glad to be here. I, I can't take credit for the weather. Uh, flying out of Richmond at 6 a.m. was was easy, but uh, getting home tonight may not be. <laughs> well, and I was on the train last night from DC, so in your neighborhood as well, and I was reading a report that McKinsey put out recently that found experiential factors, including feeling taken care of are becoming more important than ever to, to travelers. And this particular research found that actually feeling taken care of is now one of the top five factors that drive brand loyalty to cruise lines, airlines, hotels. So it's clear customer care should be a top priority for travel brands. Uh, but I'd love to get your take on what does feeling taken care of actually mean in today's travel landscape? How are customer and traveler uh, attitudes shifting around care and, and service in 2024? Well, great question. We see a lot of uh, changes going on specifically with the consumer. And as all of you can attest, consumers have become much more demanding. Uh, appetite for things not working or, or latency or anything else, just we won't tolerate it. Consumers won't tolerate it. Um, so there's this immediacy effect with consumers. Companies are also getting much better at eliminating friction, making processes more intuitive, more simple. Um, what that leads to is greater expectations from everyone. And greater expectations drive more competition, more competition drives improvement. And ultimately, the companies that we see and, and all of us see succeeding are the ones that not only create efficient intuitive processes, but they also do it with a human touch, with a heart. And the, the topic that we're gonna spend some time on is around loyalty. And we're seeing a shift from kind of points being the be all end all to this emotional value that, that consumers associate with feeling taken care of. And it could be someone on the other line. It could be a chatbot. It could be something that provides them some security and some reinforcement that they're making the right decision. And there's a lot of kind of travel tension, we'll call it. Today, with travelers, there's tension planning. There's tension booking. There's tension flying, cruising, driving. And sometimes there's tension at a destination. And uh, if, if suppliers and companies can reduce that travel tension, um, I think that is very promising for, for everyone. Sure, and just kind of that eliminating of tension, the reducing of friction and providing a more seamless experience for customers certainly impacts the, the feeling of customer care. Um, and you mentioned brand loyalty, which I want to dig into more how are some of the dynamics that you just described and also customer concerns around traveling and, and some of this tension um, impacting how customers and view brand loyalty and also how they develop a brand affinity? I think there's a direct correlation between customer concerns and brand loyalty. Uh, the more concerned you are, the more likely you are to pursue some consistent, repeatable process. It could be an airline that you are loyal to, it could be a hotel that you're loyal to, it could be a restaurant that you're loyal to. And I think it goes hand in hand with concerns. I think where concerns become uh, less important, consumers are willing to take risks. Let me try this new restaurant, let me try this new airline, let me try this new hotel. So there are a lot of concerns now, obviously, when we all travel, there's more volatility than ever, uh, and there's more that goes through your mind. Previously, prior to COVID, the concern was, is my flight gonna be on time? Are my bags gonna arrive? Am I gonna be able to check in early? And what COVID has taught us is, well, there's this element of safety, security, and well-being. Uh, and 
if you were to compare kind of this, this tactical, uh, very rational decision to build points status, build loyalty status, incredibly important. But if you compare that to safety, well-being, peace of mind, uh, d what we're seeing is consumers are starting to value each almost independently, and sometimes one will trump the other. But uh, concerns are definitely on travelers' minds today, and companies that can, can eliminate those concerns are the ones that are going to win. And luckily for us uh, at Allianz, we partner with a lot of the great companies who do this very well. A lot of you are in this room. Thank you for your business. Uh, and it's nice to have a travel insurance policy in the event that our flight gets canceled tonight. So real-time use case right here. <laughs> yes, and I'm, I'm sure many folks who are traveling this evening are, are considering that as well. Um, and, and thinking about uh, travel protection, kind of where does it factor in more broadly on creating this sense of, of customer care and how does it play into kind of this broader sense of brand loyalty rather than just kind of the points that you described earlier? Yeah, good question. With, with our travel suppliers, if you think about the desire that everyone has, regardless of the sector in which you play, there is a desire to basically eliminate any of any issues that you may encounter. Not everyone can eliminate all those issues. No company can eliminate all those issues. And the travel suppliers that we partner with see us as a uh, gateway to eliminating some of that tension, eliminating some of the anxiety. Um, they also find that coupling travel insurance with their core product often drives better conversions of that core product. And this was a major breakthrough for us because in, in our business, travel insurance and travel protection wasn't always as sanctioned as it is now. Pe people really didn't know what they would get, how to buy it, what it covers. And now we're seeing conversion rates at an all-time high. Uh, people realize that having that peace of mind is a very integral part of their travel planning and their travel doing. And I know one thing that we chatted about backstage is not only the peace of mind on the trip itself, but the peace of mind throughout the entire booking process. And you described travel tension earlier of knowing, am I going to the right destination? Am I getting the right flight? Am I going at the right time? So providing the, the information and making people feel secure that they, they have that at each step of the way, um, I'm sure is you know an important part as well. Incredibly important, and in fact, it's part of our, our vision is to expand our value proposition beyond insurance into more protection-related services. To help people plan, decide on proper destinations, and also to give people outlets in the event that something goes wrong, in the event that they're in a foreign country, they don't speak the local language, they need to get medical care quickly. Uh, we're building services and have services for many years that steer people in the proper direction where there are accredited clinics and hospitals. And at the end of the day, when we get feedback from our, from our customers and we do a lot of research and a lot of testimonials and a lot of feedback we get from customers, what we find is that the additional element that we provide is kind of like a seatbelt in a car. You get used to driving with a seatbelt. It becomes second nature. It becomes muscle memory. And our product, luckily for us and for our business, has almost become a seatbelt, particularly for international travel, where there are a lot more variables. And shifting tax a little bit, in the last session we heard about uh, generative AI's use in, in marketing specifically from Lisa, and I'd love to hear a little bit more about the technology that powers customer care, and especially around AI, which has been such a huge topic in the industry over the past year. Well, there are a lot of ways that we use AI. So one, and it came up earlier, this sense of optimization, providing the right product at the right time, the right uh, price to the right customer. And that is very, uh, luckily, sophisticated field where a lot of data scientists kind of figure out what does, uh, what does Kate need, what does Joe need, what does Chris need. And we provide offers that are more tailored to the trip and more tailored to the individual. So we call that optimization. That's one example. Another example is we want to have 
um, better claims, more responsive claims. Claims are usually one of those moments that matter when it comes to insurance. And making that process easy, making it responsive, anticipating and predicting likely scenarios and equipping our call center agents or our, our chatbots with the right information so that it doesn't become frustrating is part of our internal goal. And we mentioned at the top just the emotional element of customer care and how that important is is to, to travelers. And you were telling me a, a fun story about how technology can power a really emotional um, experience when you were in Paris, if you want to share that. Sure, happy to. Uh, a couple months ago, my wife and I went to a place called Eternal Notre Dame. And we lived in Paris for five years and recently came back. And at the base of Notre Dame, in the cellar of Notre Dame, there is a very sophisticated AI, VR, AR um, uh, event. And long story short, we felt like in a very immersive way, we went back in time 800 years to when Notre Dame was being built, complete with people that you could almost reach out and touch. Uh, we were our own avatars. We had on the, the, the Oculus type uh, headset, backpacks, walking, climbing, feeling like we were going up scaffolding. You see the artisans work, you see the people milling around in the street. And it was about 45 minutes. And at the end of the 45 minutes, we kind of looked at each other and said that the future is of, of planning, of seeing what it's like to go to Venice or to go to Paris or to go to Madrid, isn't gonna be, let's see what's on YouTube. It's going to be a complete immersive experience, which and I've been to, to several, and I'm sure many of you have been to several AI sorts of virtual reality uh, type events, and this was definitely uh, head and shoulders above anything that, that I've seen. But it was really neat and encourage all of you to do it if you get to Paris. Yeah, and certainly I'm sure everyone in this room has been making a lot of technology investments over the past several years, and I, I think 2024 is going to be one of the years where we start to see that really pay off in terms of experience, internal optimization, personalization for travelers. So that's really exciting to, to see. Um, and let's close a little bit by talking about partnerships. Um, how should brands leverage partnerships to deliver the kind of customer care that travelers are really expecting today? I think what's important in a partnership is making sure that both sides bring something to the table. And if you think about a lot of the great partnerships, current partnerships with, with Delta and American Express, with GoPro and Red Bull, with Swatch and Omega, uh, Marriott and Allianz, uh, there, are, there are synergies that each party bring to the table. You've got to have a like-mindedness in terms of customer value and customer care. And you, you, you need to figure out a way to lift all ships. Partnerships work the best when there's something in it for everyone, for each partner, and most importantly, the customer. And it creates a brand halo, it drives more traffic, it drives more revenue, and uh, the best partnerships are those, at least in my opinion, that uh, additive, in an additive sense, um, combined are much greater than just the, the parts. Absolutely, and I think it, it sounds like from our discussion, it really is the, the technology, the, the partnerships that combine together to create the experience and the emotion of feeling taken care of, which, which is so important to travelers today. Um, so Joe, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate it. Enjoyed it. Thank you.